When they got up river, we had help. Lodgy. We just found a lodge hunt. Brand new adventure today, and it's going to be a super adventure, because I can tell my heart is going pitter-pat like a little rabbit. This is Billy. Bold Coast Fisher. Bold, bold Coast Fisheries, right? We buy glass shields. <laughs> like... <laughs> I can never keep a straight face with this guy. Anyway, this is one of his sites, private property. He's the only one that has permission here. And he's going to tell you just a little bit about it. And you're going to be so excited. I'm so excited. I already did that, though, yesterday. Just excited. can't hide it. <laughs> come on, come on. I can't remember how it goes. So we are at a Revolutionary War battle site. This is the site of the Battle of the Rim, which was a two-bay battle. It started on August 13th, 1777. And then it carried on into August 14th, 1777. We we're on a long peninsula with a good command of the channel. What happened was the, the colonists had just captured a British ship the summer before in 1776 called the Margarita. It was the first naval battle of the Revolutionary War. And the British was coming back to avenge the loss. So they come up the river right up through there and the colonists heard they were coming, so the militiamen bu built a log plume out through there to block the ship. And they had a fort set right up over there, it's called Fort Foster. They had some cannons mounted there, there, and there. And when the British ship hit that log plume, they let them have it. So the British retreated back out into the bay. The next morning, it was thick dungeon fog. They snuck up, took the peninsula, burned the two farmhouses, Killed one fella and wounded another, and the way they went up river. When they got up river, we had help. Lodgy. We just found a lodge tent. <laughs> and here we are. Hey, you can't dig Here we us. are yapping like I always yap. <laughs> the Indians helped us out as colonists. They got together, they had some special cry, which made them sound like there was not ten, but maybe a hundred. So the fellows from Britain, they left with their 400 men, went back down river, and we never saw them again. Which I was pretty quiet for the rest of the war. Awesome, man. Awesome. So, yeah, they're fighting here. Cannons going off. Indians are uh, whooping. Large sense of dropping. What are you doing? I said new day, new adventure here on Tig's channel. Why we just dug our fishing well, uh, up. Uh, one, it's, uh, what is it? Is it one? One cent, yeah. Is it? You wish. That's awesome, dude. Oh. Like your first signal? First signal. Wow. Yeah, I want to, you know, I've thanked you. Well, maybe I haven't, but thanks for social distance. Thanks for uh, inviting me up, by the way. Hey, it's, 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 been, it's an awesome trip. It really has. All right, so before we get started, just let me give you a little more background. Uh, this field is a point. It's a peninsula, a couple forts, Revolutionary War forts. And they, I think there's four home sites here, too, that uh, date back to the 1700s to the 1800s. The field itself, this is a blueberry field. It's commercial, and what they'll do is let these blueberries grow. They'll harvest them with a machine in the fall. The, uh, and I think they burn them after that. They burn the fields. The following year, they do not harvest the blueberries. Uh, they skip a year, and then they'll come out here again and harvest them with a machine. Just like they're picking up mini balls from the river. All right. Well, let me show you what I'm doing. All right, we're going to hunt with a Garrett AT Max today. And I'm just going to turn her on zero uh, program and uh, maximum sensitivity zero discrimination on the iron because i like to hear what's out there wish me luck so this is one of the cellar holes yeah this is that little one that i guess billy didn't think was existent but oh okay so, i mean they filled it in with the boulders Okay. Yeah, so there would have been one of the houses sat here. You can see it's kind of square. So those rocks probably were put in when they uh, cleared the fields in the more recent times. Extremely windy out here, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Look at this. So I'm um, sorry about this camera set work today is going to be tough. Look at this, okay? There's irises. I always talk about looking for irises um, and daffodils. Irises are more hardy, though. And if you see those somewhere, chances are you're on a home site. Possibly a dump, but usually a home site. I wonder what this hole is. Big hole here, too. That could have been where they pulled a rock out. Hole, hole. Okay, well, Lindsay, I got one for you. <laughs> well, I got a crotal bell. Looky! Beauty. Yeah, it is, actually. I like it. Right here. Ah, <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, right in the road, man. Right in the road. Nice little one. Yeah, yeah. I'll cover that in good. But yeah, that's a nice one, huh? Yeah. It's been a road for, you know, 250 years, so yeah. I guess there's no reason why there shouldn't be. 
Maybe there's a hundred more in there, huh? Maybe. How are you making out? Not bad. Not bad. Oh, not too bad. How are you? Good, are you yeah. Been Fine, it down yeah. Under the show -off? Well, yes and no. 1903. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. What is that, Penny? Or? Oh, oh, nice. Engine. Sweet. Awesome. I'm good. All right. Oh, yeah, let's see what I got. I figured out that. why these militiamen got overtaken by the British why? on this very site. The British were using <laughs> modern bullets. I'd say. Man, you got a bunch of them, don't you? Yeah, I got that. I got a, it's a shield. That's oh, yeah. Indian. Yeah, I got some Indians. So that's a shield, Nicholas. That's where we just came from, finding something. But you see, there's a foundation here. And the uh, cellar hole, we can see where the farmer put giant rocks in it. And Billy's going to show me something over here. Somebody's been out here and they've been naughty. Yeah, there's been, uh, yeah. yeah. They're not supposed to do that. Anyways, I saw this. Oh. A little dump. That's, That's pretty cool. cool. A lot of old glass in it. Yeah, might be some nice bottles in there. Oh. No, it looks turn of the century, a little before maybe. All right, nice. Sorry. Something was here. To the newest. This is yeah, where they... I found those Civil War buttons. Oh, really? Oh, right nice. Across there, so. Wow. See how they piled the rocks on the rocks over there when they cleared the field. Farmers did that. I have those in a, I'm just talking about you guys, because you see it in my videos, but I'm just pointing it out to you. And you found some things here. Found some stuff here. Stuff here, Civil War. Civil War. <laughs> right here, it was probably a veteran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I haven't found was the belt plate, the box plate, and the... Oh yeah, but you found buttons, you say, yeah? Find buttons. Nice, nice. Well, hopefully we'll have some luck today. This wind doesn't blow us over. As we used to say on the Cape, it's blowing a gale. There she blows. Yeah, whenever we try to get the uh, lot, you know, I did the scallop boat guy from Maine, and of course we wanted to go out to make money, you know. And he's like, ah, it's blowing a gale, you know, just a little breeze, you know. But he was hungover, so. <laughs> That was kind of an inside joke. All right, let's get to it. There's a giant cellar hole. Let's go over and talk to him real quick. Um, like I said, I left my machine down there, so I have to go back down there. God, this thing's massive. And uh, there's a fox den down there, too. It's pretty cool. That is a huge cellar hole, man. I don't think we'll be digging in it, though. Look at the size of those rocks. Wow. Look at them. That's where he came down into the cellar right there. Massive house. Oh, look, it's probably old cistern down here. I'm reckoning. If you were to caught the rainwater to drink, probably couldn't drill a well out, you know, dig a well out here. That well, could have been a well, I suppose. Making out. Not too bad. Where do you suppose that's from? It's a tooth. Oh, that's a little guy, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. This little creature. It's a carnivore. I'm not sure what that thing is. I found that button, but it. Oh, can it's I got, see it? Yeah, it's got some sort of design on the front, but Billy and I couldn't really, oh, our fingers are dirty just rubbing it, so. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely has a design. I can't tell what it is, though. I don't and know. Spoon? I think that's a piece of a spoon. Yeah. Maybe, well, I didn't see that close, but in your that thingy, thingy wardle. Why? That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a, um, I didn't know that thing was there, man. That thing's massive. Yeah, that's the biggest cellar hole. Dry, I, you I guys find much up here, or? Yeah, we found oh, a bunch past. of stuff all around it. Because uh, when Billy got the permission, we took a mower and mowed all around the cellar. Oh, did you? Yeah, because all the grass was like knee high because we got we got to here and yeah, that's, oh, that's beautiful, August, huh? So got a largey. Yeah. Over, yeah, there's look at all kinds of pottery here too. Look at that. But yeah, there's a neat fox den down here. One of the one of the things you can look for almost immediately. You can see like feathers and bones and stuff. And when I came up over the top. We I just went over top of it. Oh, yeah. Boy, it stinks. You can really smell them, but yeah, so there's a fox den in here. You can always smell them. It's they, they kind of stink. Uh, not might not be the fox, might be the meat, the, you know, the dead animals and stuff they bring in there. But you see it's all worn down here. There's feathers, fox poo. See how it's all trampled through here? There and there. That's where the fox, that's where the little babies are coming out and playing. In the sun and it's protected from the wind. That's where they're playing. So they're already doing that. I just thought that was really cool. Uh, yeah, see, there's a deer bone. So the fox found a deer and deer bone dragged it back and a lot of little feathers. But that's fox poo right there. So it's a bunch of babies. Oh, come here, little buddy. Come see Uncle Bo. <laughs> I don't see any fresh tracks, though. Look, they might already be out of the hole by now. Yeah, there's no fresh. 
Of course, it rained like the dickens yesterday. A torn just found this uh, skull. <laughs> this is pretty cool. You say this is a seal, you think? Torn? A seal? I think so. Yeah. You can see the eyeball holes in it. So uh, that old foxy must have been out there sw ah, swimming around getting... Oh, my God. What is that? Oh. No, he probably just found it washed up on the shore dead. But, yeah, I was looking. I saw a bottle or something in here, too. One, no, it's just... Leg too. <laughs> yeah, dear leg. No bottle was... Yeah, broken. Okay, let's go find some treasure. Got a nice squeaker right here. I'm a little scared because it's up in this uh, soft stuff, but it could be a large scent. Or oh, a 30-30 shell. I'm just going to dig my finger gently for a minute. Or a bottle, broken bottle with a... Ah, uh, there it is right there. No, that's not it. All right. Um, what, what I'm going to do, let me set you down. Play where you can see. I think it's right about here. All right. Uh, huh. uh, I don't see anything yet in the dirt. I think, yep. Ooh, it's out of the hole and it sounds really sweet. <gasps> no, it's another one of those uh, net weights. Giant net weight. Um, that's where I found that other net weight, I think, was right there. I got a nice little signal here. I don't think it's a net weight. So it's not. Ah, looky, what's that? All right, it's some type of copper thingy. I don't know what that is. Could be like copper plate uh, for a kettle or bottom of a ship or a belt buckle. It looks more like a belt buckle than anything, doesn't it? Billy said he found the sea. It looks almost like it has a rim right there. Oh, well, we'll get a picture of it. You think you might have a large scent? <laughs> I think maybe. We ran into think maybe. complications about dead batteries. But... Yeah, yeah, it changed the battery out. Sounds good, huh? So, sounds pretty prime. Yeah. I'm rooting for you. I found we're, a cancel. We're hoping. I found a cancel out here too, though, isn't there it? There is. There's a pile of it there. All right. Let's see. It should be. Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> it's an old. What is it? Uh -oh, now be careful, dude. It could be like a bottle a top sign. or something, you know? Like a beer bottle, broken glass thing with a top on it. Should wear gloves. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, the number one now. complaint in my oh. videos. Should wear gloves. Right what is. you got? Oh, Large it is a large year. Right. Awesome, dude. How many is that this year so far? That's the 12th. 12th? How many you got, Billy? Five. You got five? That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. That's well, a thick one, too. Huh? I don't know what the... What Dude, that looks like a freaking hammered... <laughs> hammered, doesn't <laughs> it? Ah, uh, dude, that could be hammered, man. It looks uh, different, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that's a hammered, uh, like, you know... Yeah, I think it is. I'm bringing it. <laughs> so, you know what? Uh, don't rub it, though, until it dries. Seriously, don't rub it until it dries. Um, boy, I think it might be hammered coin. Don't rub it until it dries. Don't rub D it. Dude, that's listen. So seriously, if you wait until it dries before you rub Details it. Details come out a lot better. Much, much better. Yeah. Good. That's why all our coins are Just, on. He, he tells you, he says, rub them while they're wet. That, that, no, 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 no. Don't listen to him. He's, he's, yeah. he's, 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 he's rub it for it. No, seriously, off. let it dry. Just give it a couple minutes, and then you rub it. No, shoot. Yeah, I want to see what it is. Up, hurry up and rub that. Dude, I'm telling you, that thing looks like a freaking hammered coin to me, oh, man. Yeah. Probably off one of them pirate ships that uh, sailed up here. It, it, it really does. Yeah. It does look uh, different. Leif Erikson. I think it's Viking. Pretty sure it is. Like it's not even 100% um, round. What was it ringing up? It was ringing up like yeah. a largey. Yeah, he said it was a largey. Yeah. Don't rub it. You better hold on to that or else we're going to have it. Why? We're going to no. have a ruin. It's almost you ready. tell a young fellow not to rub it. You know they're yeah, going to do it right. anyway. That's right. You know, no, that's going to be like a token or something. It's round. Oh. Ish. Well, well, yeah, well, it's just, yeah, it is. Uh, I can't think of that thing. Like it's, it was round. It was round at one point. Why? No, it may not have ever been round. If it's a hammered coin. Well, that'd be something. Go that would be something. I don't even know what it would be. Out here, you know. Battery's died, and I was waiting for you. I was, like, looking at you, waiting that. for you to... To come over, why I forgot that's that pretty I had smart to, of you because I, I had, we're going to a virgin spot 
And I know full well that if I change my batteries there, you fellas will be right into the nectar. Yes, well, I did change get the batteries. <laughs> nectar. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Might have to come back on that Seriously, one, you don't let you. It's quite ready. No, no, it's not ready. not ready. It's got to be dry. Dry as a bone, my friend. Dry as a bone. What's that? What is that? That is... is I don't know. That's a crab comb. Just like <laughs> the one we found on the island. Imagine it. <laughs> let it dry off a little bit and cleaned it up just a little and I tell you I have no idea what I think this is a hammered weird hammered coin of some sort I don't know I just never seen anything like it it's a little shiny right there that's not gold <laughs> gold that's where it was uh nicked a little bit when he dug it I think but just got it's got, it does have a design on it boy I just can't make it out but I think it's an old I don't know I don't know what it is Maybe you guys, and uh, of course this was settled by the English early, then the French were here too, before them. And there were pirates here. Sam Bellamy was in this area. So if you know what that is, please let us know. <laughs> Just de I think it has a design on it, eh? Sweet. I want to go find one, but first I got to get this back before I lose it. Still holds right there, and I got a nice screamer here. Hoping it's a largey, not some slaw. <laughs> Guy reading the, oh no, <laughs> slaw. I have a tight little signal right in here. I don't think it's going to be slaw, uh, but I wanted to show you a couple things. One, well, these rocks that I found, that's probably just a natural rock, but I found that up by the home site. And it's just, uh, well, I like it. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep that. And up by the, a little bit of the uh, foundation just right over there. I found this too. And I just want to show this to you. This is Indian. Um, this is a flake from like where Indian was making tools. Or this could be actually be a tool right here. But uh, this does not occur naturally like that. It's actually pretty sharp. I've been carrying it around with me for a few minutes. And it might have drawn blood. Um, so I'm not going to put that in the bag. I just want to show it to you. The, show you the Indians were here. Anyway, nice tight signal. Should be right about there. Double check. Yep. It's pretty small and uh, pretty high squeaky too, so I'm pretty excited about this one. There it is. <laughs> All right, see what it is. Oh no! no. That was actually pretty close to the surface, wasn't it? Man, I think that'd be tiny. I must have moved it. Here? Yeah. All right. Set you down. Put the pinpointer away. And something very small in here. Hope it's a little silver coin. <laughs> nah, it's fired modern bullet. No. Yeah, that's what it ah dropped it. That's what it is, just a fired modern bullet that's got a copper jacket, lead core. Made a really good signal. Okay, away you go. And I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and Locket, Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets, she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets, she's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving Where it is or what it might be 
Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in the